luxury in a way. It's the best meme and the best metaphor that they can carry right now. And that's why it works. It, it is sorcery. Because the movie imparts a troubling feeling that you can't shake. You take it home with you, you sleep with it, you wake up in the morning, you see that bloody clown face again, you think through the scene, and then you remember, remember some things, you remember some lines, and you realize, is it art imitating life or life imitating art? And once again, it's all about the manufactured outrage. It's about how there are a group of people in this country right now that want a war, but they don't know the first thing about having one or creating one, okay? So we have every, every aspect of our lives is leaning on the war lobby. It's, it's the war machine, but it's not just the war machine where we have guns and ammo and, and tanks and planes and, 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 and drones. It's a war within ourselves, a war within our country. It's a war that uh, certainly we have a lot of people pushing this whole impeachment thing. It's, it's a war where we're pushing uh, Russia Gate and Ukraine Gate and all that. And, and the thing is, is that here's something I want to tell you about impeachment. It's the same thing I was telling people about martial law. And there are people saying, why don't we just declare martial law in this country? Well, you don't declare martial law because it's a bad thing to declare martial law. So, you know, if we declare martial law in this country, we're pretty much screwed. You then, uh, you know, it, it, it's just, I've lived in a country with martial law, okay? I lived in Buenos Aires during the bottom days or the bottom months or the bottom years of what is called the Cold War. And here in this country, I hear the words coup being used, and I've used them too. But see, here's the thing about impeachment. I've noticed something, and maybe you can agree with me, maybe you don't agree with me. Have you ever noticed, though, and, and see, this opens up a whole clown world thing again, and I know that some people don't like it, but you've got to live with it, okay? Because this is the way I see it. Clown world, dirty clowns, bad clowns, ass clowns, all of them gathering together. And here is the thing. All of these people that are pushing hardest for Trump's early removal are more dangerous than Trump himself. Have you noticed that? Or does the media not tell you that? Think about it. The guys that are behind Trump's early removal are more dangerous than Trump. And many Americans don't see this because, well, they didn't live in a country like I lived in when I lived in Argentina. They, they're not used to waking up in a country where you're not sure who the president's going to be by the end of the day. They don't understand that this predicament is worse than having a bad president or a president you just don't like. Okay?